have any bad music. Yeah, I feel like it's all good music. JV but, hates the roost. But okay, here, here's my thoughts on the music. It's all good music, but not all of it is good in the contents of in the context of a fighting game. I don't care. That I just like their music. Game one. Purple on purple. Yeah, you definitely see Iggy opting for Rosalina against Diddy Kong. It's just so much of a better matchup than for Bayo. Uh, Rosalina is considered a really what strong matchup against Diddy Kong, and uh, Diddy Kong is considered a pretty strong matchup against Bayo. Yeah, I mean, why else do you think that Zero, who is a Diddy Kong main, would say Rosalina is the best character in the game? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a tough matchup, especially since you can't use the banana as well. This is really interesting. I haven't seen much of this from other Rosalinas. We're seeing Iggy opt for some short hop down airs. Uh-oh. That's definitely not leftover remnants from Bayonetta play either, because no Bayonetta in their, in their right mind yeah. is just going to walk around doing short hop down airs. So this is very deliberate. Yeah. I really want to see what he gets off of it. What is his game plan? Here? I think it's more to utilize uh, Luma's ability with the short hop down okay. air rather than Rosalina's. Does oh, it, my Does goodness. it desync the Luma? I think it might. Uh, it might or... desync the Luma, but also it's just a very nice hitbox. Okay, that's true. Man, taking that first stock really early, able to just crash into those <laughs> barrels. <laughs> just trying to walk away. Cam says no. They can get dangerously go under the stage. Getting creative, not scared. Come on, guys, let's get creative. I thought we agreed to never be creative again. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Tell that to Iggy. That's his problem, not mine. Not Luma too creative. Still it's still alive. Smash Bros. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Not on my ladder or anything. Ooh. Man, Cam may have lost his first stock pretty early, but he's been doing a pretty good job of bringing this one back, throwing the banana <laughs> directly to getting I don't think I've seen that before, actually. <laughs> Iggy, he's just too in control of the situation. That's, I mean, I think if we wanted to describe uh, all of Iggy's characters, Bayonetta and Rosalina, oh, yeah. that's what they do. They stay in control of the game the whole time. That's what they're about. They're, they're pace setters. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Something just happened on the other side of the venue. Wow, smash. nice, nice empty hop into that up smash. Not able to seal the stock though, but he was able to get rid of Luma. So let's see what he can do with the situation. Lightning Cam with the banana in his hand, no way to punish that uh, misspaced recovery from Iggy. Creative, but Getting him punished. He's going to do it again, but this time just to get past him and get back on stage safely. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Okay, so the reason that, that worked is because you can only use Luma to attack when Rosalina is not in hit stun. And he actually had enough stun from those pummels at that percent, I presume, to not be able to attack with Luma. He was able to get two pummels, a forward throw, and then down smash Luma away. That's Great crazy. awareness by Cam, because I would have gotten bodied by that. Oh, yeah. And he's not gotten bodied by it twice in a row. I mean, that's not even... Uh, Iggy definitely would have, ha given the opportunity, used Luma to punish a uh, an overzealous kind of a situation like oh, that. Oh, That's boy. so unfortunate that there was very, very little, if anything at all, that he could do to get past that edge guard. I think the only thing he could have done is land on top of Luma after he ran out of juice. Perhaps, then, yeah, that might have uh, that might have been able to get him back on stage. Difficult. Yeah, the, the aim certainly not easy, and there was no riskless option. It was still very dangerous. Maybe he could have gone under the stage. No, no, it work. Ah, Game two on Duck Hunt. I think it was too far out to the left. Yeah, but, but too far down actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, game two on Duck Hunt, I think Cam is doing this to use the grass to conceal his banana. That's, That'd be nice. That's what I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, certainly could help. Oh, my goodness, that was terrifying. So, he buffered more down tilts, but buffering the down tilts pushed him off stage. And he buffered a down air off stage. That was terrifying. Yeah. Uh, it's... Luckily, he was aware enough to make it back to the stage there. And uh, Iggy down smashing only to catch the barrels and do 10% to himself. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's this water I just got. Thanks, Sam. Right now. I mean, Diddy Kong. Ooh, wow. Again, that's the second time that he's thrown the banana only to have it pulled directly into his own face. That, my friends, is why you don't spit into the wind. Yeah. <laughs> Eloquently put. 
Don't spin into the wind and don't throw a banana away against a Rosalina who's trying to gravitational pull. That's, uh, I mean, like you said, this matchup is just pretty tough in general. It's, it's interesting uh, because Rosalina invalidates a couple of Diddy Kong's strongest tools. Almost getting invalidated of his first stock there on the down air. No, but holding on to it really well. Um, this is anybody's first stock, but Iggy is looking poised to take it. We'll see. That's definitely going to be a punish on the barrels. Ooh. Oh! Getting the double KO. Die. That's definitely a trade I'd be willing to take if I'm lightning camera right near. And both I've players making the smart decision of waiting for their invincibility to run out before they drop off the platform. I think that... Uh, uh, I think that Lightning Cam did that intentionally, too, with that recovery. Uh, seeing that he did, like, 13% to him when he down smashed the barrels last time, mm -hmm. he figured, well, if he tries to down smash me here, I'll just kill him. Yeah. I mean, it looks like Iggy had all control in that situation. There were maybe two options. Lightning Cam perhaps gets back to the ledge and then has to deal with getting up from ledge against Rosalina at that percent. Or uh, he kills them both. And then it's a fresh stock for both players. Momentum is removed and right now he's taking control of that exactly all right using the gravitational pull once again to make cam trip on his own banana three percent lead for iggy this is this is a lot closer decidedly than the first game Ooh, rosalina always scares me with that yeah, that up air is powerful uh, if you hit with the right hitbox of it, can kill people pretty early. Yeah, we know. Way up there. <laughs> oh, going for the barrels. Smart, uh, because he saw that Iggy had decided to commit to going off stage to try to get an edge guard. Here it is again. Iggy, Iggy thinking that Cam would try to take the barrels onto the ledge. Cam said, nope, I'm going on stage. Don't even have to deal with ledge getups, just I do it. I mean, when your opponent's charging a smash, there's no way that they can get done with a smash and then go all the way across the stage to punish you. Unless they're Sonic. Right. But the Luma up air will do it there. Iggy, gonna move on and lose your side of top eight. It was a little bit closer game two. Cam definitely got more of an idea of how to control the situation, but Iggy was just setting the pace too well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he did get that nice double KO, uh, Camp did. Yeah. In game barrels. two.